Okay. How you doing? I'm Tony Burrill with uh, TakeAKnee.com, uh, and uh, we're here talking inside zone wide receiver blocking. Um, I'm going to tell you what, with these wide receivers, it's so important that they make everything look the same. So what we do is, you know, we get our alignment. We want to make sure that we're looking like we're going to go ahead and run a post. We're looking like we're going to go ahead and run a vertical. Whatever our, our base pass plays, we're going to line up like that. So once we get our alignment, go ahead, you know, outside the hash, you know, depending on where you want to line up, that's where we're going to go ahead and go. I don't mind widening it out a little bit. What I talk about with the receivers at that point is I'm going to go ahead and get this guy in a bind. So we're running inside zone. We're going to go ahead and option the end. So I'm going to let the, um, the offensive line go ahead and block everybody inside. Our quarterback is going to read the end. All right, but what happens is we have these guys we got to make sure we pick up. So we have got to be able to get to this outside backer, and this outside backer is going to run pass read off that defensive end. I mean, off that offensive tackle. So what we must do is we must make sure that we get position on him. In order to get position on him, we have got to stem inside. We got to take two back. So what I do is I widen our receivers out. Get this guy to widen with us. All right, give us some more running lane in there. If our running back does a good job and hits it up tight, we we don't have to make as big a block out here. But what we want to do is we want to widen him out, and then we want to take two back. So immediately what we're going to do on the snap of the ball is we're going to stem, take two back, okay, immediately. Same here, actually, and depending on where the guys line up, I even like when the corner's outside leverage, I still take two back. And we have automatic position on that guy no matter where we're going. And we don't position block, though. We'll get to that in a minute. So right now, since we're, we're going to go ahead and option this guy, we're going to block first threat. We're going to get to that backer. So I want to now press vertical immediately. And what we will do is we're not going to teach go ahead and box out. We are going to put our face mask in the ribs of the backer and take him where he wants to go. So if backer's coming inside, we're going to go ahead and wash, take him with us. If backer stays outside, we're going to go ahead and block him out. The running back then makes a cutoff of that. Our running backs have run so many darn reps, they know how to do that. But we don't just box out and let that guy drive us back. Same thing here. What we're doing right here is we're going to press vertical and we're going to have that corner. And if that corner comes, we're going to go ahead and continue to block him out. If the corner gets over the top of us, we're going to continue to wash. So we go first level, second level, third level reads for the running back in order to get to each, each different depth perception, uh, different depth on the field. Finally, what we have done uh, game plan wise, so we will block the outside backer. If outside backer disappears, we'll go to safety, but we'll talk more about how we block safety at another, uh, at another time. But what, we, what I will tell you is this, we oftentimes look between the safety and the corner and see who the biggest threat is. And what we may do is we may surpass the corner and get to safety. So there's multiple different opportunities for us to be able to block as a receiver combo when we're reading the defensive end. So that's taking me all the time, um, inside zone blocking for the wide receivers.